I'd like to tie for you a March Brown. The book I have in advice is a two extra long. This is a size 10. March Browns are generally large mayflies. The thread I'm going to use is tan. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye and I'm going to take it down the shank halfway. <clears throat> And then I'm going to return half of that distance. For the wings, we're going to use wood duck flank feathers. I'm going to use one feather per wing. And I'm going to size them up. I want them to be the length of the hook shank. And when I tie this, I want it to roll halfway towards the opposite side. I'm going to trim this off at an angle. And I'm going to I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to measure it up to the one I have tied in already. I'm going to secure this and I'm going to start wrapping back and we got a nice taper and I'm going to trim off that excess. I'm going to bring the thread back to the bend of the hook and I'm going to put the tail on and then the tail is pheasant tail fibers and I want the tail to be the size of the body up to the wing. I have about four or five pheasant tail fibers here. And I'm going to give it a wrap underneath and bring that up to where we cut off the last wing material. Now I'm going to tie in a rib and the rib is a single barbel from the tail of the turkey. Nice and long. And when I get to the front I'm going to divide those wings Try to capture them like you put them on two different feathers. And I'm going to figure eight them forward. I'm going to go once around. I'm going to hold up the near one. Go through. Go once around. Go through. And now I'm going to take a wrap around the base. Come to the close one, and I'm going to wrap around that base. Oop, that slipped off. Just two or three wraps around the base is fine. And I just squeeze them and they're standing upright. And I'm going to bring the thread back. I'm going to wax my thread and now the dubbing I have a yellowish brown dubbing this is all more like an amber March browns have more of a yellowish 
belly and a dark top. But of course, the belly is the color that we want to represent. That's what the fish is going to see. And I'm going to start by going back and then wrap my dubbing forward. I'm going to take the rib and I'm going to palmer this forward. Yep, it broke a little bit on me. I'm going to palmer it forward. Still have plenty of the ribbing here. Grab my hackle pliers on there for the last. And I'm going to tie that down. And trim away that excess. And now I have a grizzly and brown hackle. And I have the crew cut on there. I'm going to tie them right in the middle. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that crew cut exposed in the back area. Move my wings back and secure them in the front. And I want to build up a bit in front of the wings. So he don't have a big step going from front to back. What? And we're going to wrap them in. And when I reach the wing, I'm going to pull them back and I'm going to rub up against them with the hackle. And put a couple more wraps in front of the hackle. And go ahead and tie them off. Yeah, I'm going to trim away that excess. I'm going to pull back the hackle and make the head. Give it a whip finish. Put some head cement on there. 
And here we have a March Brown. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.